Today I have a super exciting video to share with you guys. I was asked by Filofax if I wanted to review and share one of their planners. They did ask me which planner I wanted. I decided to go for one which I have never ever tried before. I don't own one. I think I very briefly held one at a meetup, but other than that, I've never really looked at one properly. I decided to go for the Kingfisher Blue Malden. So I thought that'd be a kind of good one to give a first impressions review on. I'll leave links and stuff to Filofax and I'll also leave a direct link to this planner. It comes in a nice strong cardboard box, it's got one of them silica gel things in the box and then it has this over the top which is obviously to protect it and then also it has a plastic cover as well which again is for protection. Leather planners can get marked very easily so yeah there's a lot of things protecting it when it's in the box. So this is what the planner looks like on the outside. I have got the personal size but this does come in pocket and A5 size. The colour of this isn't really picking up on camera how it is in real life. It's not quite as green as the Aqua Malden, which is a very sought after planner. It's definitely not quite as blue blue as it's showing in the camera. It's definitely more of a turquoise blue. As I said before, this is a leather planner. It does have a smell to it, not a very strong smell. I have heard from various people who own Maldens that the type of leather that's used for this planner does mark a lot easier than other leathers. That does make me kind of nervous because I do try to keep my planners nice. But I think with this one, I am going to try and be a bit more not careful <laughs> with it. I'm definitely intrigued to see how this wears over time. It is very smooth. It's kind of glossy. It's a bit on the squishy side. It's not like a sturdy, sturdy planner. And it does definitely have a bit of bend in it. The closure, as you can see, has this classic Malden design. It does have stitching going all the way around the edge. When you open the planner up, this is what you see. You have a zip pocket, which is very different to my other Filofaxes. I don't think any of them have zip pockets, so this will probably be my first. You then have four smaller pockets which are business card size and then you have one bigger pocket as well. At the back you have a vertical pocket and then you have the other bigger pocket as well which is like this one over here. So as far as like storage in this planner goes there's definitely a lot of space. I know a few people who use a Malden as a purse or a wallet because of the zip and obviously the amount of card pockets and stuff. I don't think I would ever be able to use a planner as a wallet or a purse but if you did want to try and use a planner as a purse then the Malden would definitely be one to consider. It does come with a load of inserts. You have, I think this is a 2017 diary, it must be a 2017 diary. You have some coloured paper which is just note paper, some pages for contacts, you have some blank paper, you have grid paper and also some lined paper and then obviously you have a set of dividers as well and then at the back you have a top loading pocket. I'm not a fan of the Filofax inserts. I tend to use a mixture of inserts inserts from various different places. I think it's the cream pages. I just am not a fan of cream pages. I prefer my pages to be white. So yeah, I probably won't use these inserts. I will put my own in here. It obviously has this, which is a ring protector. So it protects this when it is traveling to you. But I am gonna take this off because I don't need it on here. I'm gonna take the inserts out for now. It just makes it a bit easier to Ooh, show you the full planner. As you just heard, those rings are super, super tight. When you're buying a planner, that is definitely something to check for. Sometimes the rings can be faulty, they might be a bit wonky or they might be really loose. This planner does also have a pen loop as well at the back. I think the type of leather that's used on this planner is definitely gonna be something for me to get used to. It's very sort of wrinkly, if that makes sense. <laughs> Um, let's see if my camera will pick that up. Yeah, you can see there's kind of wrinkles on it or creases, I suppose. Yeah, it's very different to any of the other planners that I've got. It's also a lot floppier than any of my other planners. It reminds me much more of a traveling notebook in like the fact that it's so floppy. I am very used to sturdy planners. I do really like the design. I'm not 100% sure on the zip. I don't know if I'll end up using the zip pocket at all. If you've watched my past videos, you might know that the sideways pockets aren't my favourite. I prefer upright pockets. But yeah, I will still be able to use these. I'll still keep business cards and bits and pieces in them. I have been getting the urge to go back into a ring planner. At the moment, I'm using a kind of bullet journal system. So yeah, we will see what happens. I might have to give it a go. I might have to somehow combine my bullet journaling into a ring band planner and see how that goes. But yeah, as I said at the beginning, I will leave a link to the Filofax website so you can go and have a look at all the planners they have available. And I'll also leave a link directly to this 
planner. It's definitely a very pretty planner. I am really happy to have it in my collection. If you do have any questions, then be sure to let me know below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.